Hey everyone, today we're going to craft a customizable countdown timer and I'll be showing you a few slick techniques and tweaks to dial it up to 11. First off, we're starting with the basics, which is a straightforward keyframes timer. So we have a text layer and what we're going to do is add the effect slider. Bring this on to our text and then we just need to open up our text so we can see our source text and also our slider. And then if we hold Alt or Option and click on the stopwatch next to source text, we can start by typing in math.round. Open bracket, and then we can pick whip to our slider. And click off, and now we can put in any wild number we choose and the text obediently follows suit. So we can keyframe this from 100, for example, down to zero. And then we, and when we play that through, it will count down, obviously, from 100 to zero. So why the math.round? So if I was to just delete that and have just our slider control, and you'll see all of these unwanted decimal places. But if you did want some decimal places, there is a way to do that. And all we need to do so let's just delete that expression so we can start again and pick whip to our slider so we can start from scratch. And at the end of our expression, we want to type in dot value dot two fixed with a capital F, open bracket. And then in these brackets is the number of decimal places we require. So I'm going to go with two and click off. And there we have our two decimal places. Our slider is still keyframe from earlier. And if we play this through, it's the same countdown, but with two decimal places. So we can have that anything we want. Let's go with just one. And there we go. And if we fancied a snazzy symbol tagging along at the start or the end, all we need to do is at the very beginning, we need to do a quotation mark and then the desired symbol. I'm going to go with a pound sign. And then we close the quotation marks and add the plus symbol. Let's just add a space to make it a bit clearer and then click off and there's our pound symbol. We can do the same at the end. We can do a plus, quotation mark, and then any symbol we want at the end as well. Now let's notch it up to those of you craving a real time countdown. So let's backtrack to our original math.round and I'm just going to delete our expression so we can start again. Type in math round open bracket and then pick grip to our slider and click off and we don't want our slider to be keyframe this time so we can turn off the keyframes there instead this slider needs to be set to however many seconds you want your timer to start at so i'm going to go with 10 and then at the end of our expression just before this final bracket we need to add in minus time and that is it now, if we hit play, we can marvel as it ticks down from our chosen number in real time. Some of you might have noticed that that first tick happens at half a second rather than one second. After that, it is every second, but that first one we want ideally to happen at one second, not half a second. And that is all about how math.round works and it rounds up or down to the nearest whole number. And to do this, all we need to do is add in either up here in our slider 0.49 so now if you play this through that happens at one second or to make it a bit neater turn that back to 10 we can add that in in our expression so just before minus time we can type in plus 0.49 and then play it through we get the same desired outcome and our countdown syncs perfectly on the second just as it should. Check the comments where I've dropped this gem of an expression for those of you who want to rope minutes into their countdown. I'm just going to revert back to our standard text layer. So we have just our text, one slider, and we want to call our first slider minutes. Duplicate this and call the second one seconds. So make sure these are spelled correctly, both with a capital letter then all you need to do is grab that expression I just mentioned from the comments, copy this, and then paste this into our source 
text. Click off and there you go. So we can go back to our sliders and we can set our initial minute to let's say we want ours to be five and our seconds, let's do that at 15 seconds. And now our countdown has minutes included. And on the very last line of our expression, I have the colon in the middle, but you can change this to anything you want, say an M for minute. And then just like before, at the end, we can add another plus, quotation mark, and then anything we want at the end as well. And that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please drop any questions you have in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.